What's up guys, we have new information about Daniel moving to E1 and with that one of the most anticipated duels will finally become reality in spring. There's plenty of more stuff to talk about later on but we're gonna kick things off with the big news. Alright guys, there it is. It was a new report by Shift so it's not 100% set in stone but they made a whole new article that does not say they are just opening talks with SSG. It says that they are set to sign Daniel for the spring split and according to them this is going through through now we gonna see daniel and beast mo playing together in the spring split for v1 and the expectations towards this roster are gonna be sky high i however couldn't be more excited to finally see them play together and i'm really curious how this will transition to the pitch now while this almost certainly means that daniel is moving over the report doesn't give us any information about what is going to happen to torment other than he is exploring his option it says so in the top paragraph here and therefore we have no idea where he's moving we know on the other hand that there are a lot of tryouts of other players in other teams so there could be spots opening up i said it before when there were rumors of cheese for example trying out for ssg and i could imagine torment to try out with these teams as well that are looking to make a move and therefore we can just wait and see where he goes but all we know for now is that daniel is most likely moving over to weaver and i can show you something real quick that will clarify when the others will finally make their decision because the transfer window for the winter split is gonna end on the 24th of april so it's not even open by the way because it opens on april the 11th and therefore also the daniel move will only become official once they decided to send in the paperwork in this window so these two weeks will be the deadline for the teams to make their roster move and this also means they almost have another whole month to make their move so all the others cheese tom and Toxa, we have information about that they are trying out somewhere else still have plenty of time but this is also plenty of time for the daniel move to fall through we know what happened last trade window with rise when he decided not to move to Yvonne on the last day basically and caused a bit of a chain reaction with Oli becoming free agent with way less time on what Torment has now and this is just to give you a quick information on how long this process could still take even though we have the first information already and that's a great thing about shift that they report stuff like this because otherwise we will probably have to wait until the teams make the official announcements which then probably is gonna be in that time frame before we move on guys I would like to hear from you where do you think the new V1 roster will end up now that they have the deadly duo of daniel and beast mode alongside com on the roster i would really love to hear that from you i feel like the expectations are going to be extremely high for them but i could also see them live up to them very well and cement themselves in like a top four position every time in the regionals that would definitely be justified with a roster like that as i said in the beginning there's plenty of more stuff to talk about we're gonna make it quick though simus who was previously on much delight is exploring his options he doesn't want to continue with the team however they made a regional in winter and that's why he is definitely a prospect some teams could take a look at this was the winter cup where they qualified they went out 0 and 3 but still a great tournament every bubble team that qualifies for RLC has at least one should be on the radar for every orc that is trying to make a move and simus definitely is one of those the next one we want to talk about is the Woof. he also decided to part ways with the boys it's been great he says and he's looking for a team for everything he was previously on once with that monster and hider they however could never make a regional and only went to the open qualifiers in the winter split could not make the close qualifiers and therefore he is a little bit less notable but nonetheless also a great player that's why i wanted to include him and the last thing we need to talk about is gamers 8 announcing a price pool it's going to be 2 million once again i could imagine psionics as i said when this was announced to have it kept to not be over the world's price pool and therefore they're going to keep it at 2 million i think they could go higher it's gamers 8 after all and they are tossing around i believe 45 million for the overall price in all the games they are hosting so there's definitely definitely room for more but this is still very sick and it's going to happen afterwards by the way well, it's going to be in the beginning of august and this tournament is going to be i think one week later or two weeks so tight schedule for all the teams that are going to worlds and still want to participate in this but maybe the money makes it worth it's going to be crew battles once again so same format as last time and i'm looking very much forward to that so guys that was everything that happened in the last couple of days if you ever want to discuss something like this or even be featured in a future video join my discord the link is going to be in the description it would be awesome to see some new faces is over there and that however is going to be it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave us up and i'll see you guys next time